Hello, my name is Martyr, and welcome to the episode of Let's Play Ori in the Blind Forest. And thank you for watching. Last time, guys, we just started the game off. I really wanted to quickly show you guys this screen. I forgot to show you guys. This is the, uh, the uh, when I hit escape, you go back to the options if you want. Uh, this also shows you all the powers that we're going to unlock, all the things that we're going to get while playing Ori in the Blind Forest. It has a little bit of a Metroidvania-style feel to it. And there's lots of different kinds of secrets and power-ups and all sorts of stuff that we can find throughout the entire game, which we're going to have to find throughout the entire game because, um, well, it's just that type of game. <laughs> but the cool thing is it also shows itself on the map once we get a particular upgrade, which will be very nice. So we just saved. Uh, and we're basically continuing forward here. We don't want to go up there. We don't want to do, we don't want to deal with that guy. We want to head towards the spirit caverns, as it says right here. I hate that guy. He's annoying. And he's an a-hole. Oh, uh, you know, I probably should go back. I just realized I just made a huge mistake. Uh, and spend my skill point. Yeah, we're going to want to do that. So we're going to have the option of map markers. Makes most pickups in the map show up on the map. Rekindle. Well, we're going to go with Quick Flame. All right, cool. Uh, we're gonna be, we could actually level up pretty much unlimitedly uh, if we so choose. One thing I will say that I enjoy quite a bit is uh, the fact that we can kind of use our environment to our advantage. We don't necessarily have to be. You know, like right on top of our enemies to kill them. And it creates a little bit of a, an advantage for us. It's not necessarily focused on being like the, this. The action part isn't necessarily the, the difficult part of the game. Crap. Crap. Well, if you, as you can imagine, we're heading towards the point where we're going to get a power soon here. I'm going to try to die the least amount as possible. Oh, yeah, okay. Lots of explosions, lots of clicking. Almost got another level here. Which is fine by me. Gotta be very careful here. There were those that turned to hope. When she ravaged and killed. Aww. The lie of the spirit tree lives in all of us. He's the reason we're alive. He's the reason we grow. We grew. When he called out to find to find you many years past, we were attacked, wounded, and killed by our foe. Now these ancestral trees are all that's left behind. Come close now and feel the light of feel and the spirit inside. Power time! Like absorbing the experience of our ancestors, essentially. You've learned wall jump. To use this ability, push towards the wall and press space, continuously to leap upwards. As an example, found an energy cell. Now we can save twice in multiple spots if need be. I'll also, oh, that was stupid of me. Energy does have more use than just saving, which we'll come upon here a little bit. Well, damn. So yeah, now we can wall jump, which is pretty freaking sweet. I got hit, but I also got the hit point back. That makes me happy. Gotta, gotta stop taking stupid damage. That would be great. There we go. Alright. Alright, maybe we should go ahead and use a soul link. Alright, and then we got a free point here. Allows reusing soul links and shortens the cooldown time. Might as well do that. Alright, cool, cool, cool. 
Cool, 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 cool. All right, let's check it out here. Let me go down. Oh. All right, this is a map zone. One of the many ancient markers created to clear the forest of Nibel as it grew. There's a piece missing. If we could find the map stone fragment, we might be able to repair it. All right, is it over here? No. But that is. Ooh, I want that. We gotta get that. That's that's an extra hit point. That'll be nice. That'll be very nice. All right, let's um, let's go up here. Pop this thing. Kill that guy. Some free experience, baby. All right, I think that just leads to the map marker, which we don't necessarily have all the keys for. So let's keep moving lefter. Nice dodging on my part. There's the map stone. There's a bad guy. He's dead now. Hate that guy. Alright, and I think we're going to have to use this for something. What did we have to use this for? I forget. Is this specifically just simply for the purposes of getting us up there? I think it is. Alright, that's fine. Alright, now we don't want to die here. So I think we're going to go ahead and make a safe spot. We'll get that energy back. Oh, I remember this. Okay, here we go. It doesn't matter if it hits the uh, the stone. It matters if it hits me. Keep pushing. Keep pushing. Keep pushing. Oh, we got through that. Just lucky. There we go. Perfect. How in the hell do we get that? Oh, okay. Very nice. Alright. I'm gonna blow those up. Got a switch here. I think we want to pull that switch back. Yeah, we totally want to pull it back because we kind of want to get that stuff. Hey, come back here! You little jerk! You little booger! You little purple piece of crap! Well, actually, you know what? I think we could probably clear that jump pretty easily, actually. I'm sorry, I gotta make up my damn mind, right? I can hear you. Well, found the map stone! Some free experience. Very good. We can head back to that really quickly. Activate that. I will say that it's kind of annoying how enemies respawn rather quickly in this game. But we can dispatch them really fast. There we go. That's going to reveal a chunk of the map to us. That's how we get through to the last area. So that's what we're going to have to do. Very good. All right. So we're going to just make our way up here. I completed the first, like, little area right before... Ow. Right before, um... We head to the second area of the game. But we'll be coming back to this area because we don't have all... We'll never have everything completed until we get all of the powers. So that's going to take a while, too. Okay, we're going to create a quick soul link. We're going to save because we're not stupid. Can I jump down here? No, I can't. That's fine. Okay. Oh, this is annoying. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Well. Wait, wait, wait. Isn't there something to the right here? I forget. No, there's not. Okay. Okay, here we go. Walls up. What? Why? Why did I not jump? Why? We are totally one 
like shot away from death, by the way. Uh, I don't remember how we get that. Alright, good. We cleared that. How do we get access to that? I forget. Uh, here's another use for uh, energy st or energy brick stone things. These energy gates were sealed by the spirits of the past. If we collect enough energy cells, they will open a path. Which will lead us to stuff like, you know, treasure and things like that. But we don't nearly have enough. So we're not even going to try that because it's a waste of time. Um... How do we... How do... What the... What the balls of... Oh, sh That was stupid of me. Okay. Okay. Sorry. Sorry. Let's create a soul link here. Before I get us killed like a moron. Can't go that way. I think we gotta collect four keys for this particular uh, particular gate that we're facing up ahead here. Four keys, lots of jumping, platforming aspects to this as you can imagine. There we are. We're one hit point shy of death, so we gotta be very careful. Right, if we touch that, we die. Crap. Okay. Now, I could go back and get a hit point. I probably should do that, just to make this, you know, less insane on my part. But, you know, I like making things unnecessarily challenging, guys. Okay, there we go. Stop screwing around, Martyr. There we go. There we go. Okay, I think that's four now. That's all of them. And we gotta just climb up that thingy. We're gonna use a soul link. Because I'm not gonna go through this shit again. We barely made that. There we go. All right. There's a lot of stuff we did miss. We'll have to come back for that, though. Again, as we get access to new powers, that's what'll it'll be done. Somber, they found me dormant and still. We told Ori the tale of her misguided will. Was a misguided. You're misguided. Uh, should I be doing something here? Ori, the spirit tree, he must have used the last of his strength to save you. Come down and hear our story. It was the night of the light ceremony. It was our light that she hated. Why well, always gotta be a she? I called out to Ori, but my child never came. <laughs> We were having a really bitchin' time. Which is what I was trying to say. It's a giant pissed off bird. Oh, bad, badass. Oh yeah, he took. She took it. What the hell exactly was Ori supposed to do against a giant bird? Kuro stole a sign. It was the end of our days. 
Shit happens. <laughs> you receive the spirit tree's light. We put our feet in your hands. Listen carefully now, for you must understand. The spirit tree sustained the three elements of light, and in turn they brought balance and kept Nibel safe. The element of water is high atop the Ginso tree. The element of winds deep within the forlorn ruins. They're forlorn. And the element of warmth beneath the fires of Mount Hudo. To restore Nobel to its former self, we must rekindle the light before it's too late and get the Master Sword. And then go into the temple. Oh, wait, wrong game. First, we will find beyond the spirit coves, spider coves, atop of the tree where the waters once flowed. All right, there you go. There we go, use the safe spot, and we're on our way now, officially. We can't go pretty much in any other direction, by the way, in case you're wondering. This is literally the only choice we have. Be careful where the ground is unstable. Is he okay there? Where are we at? Where are we at? I think we found a way back in. Oh, yeah, yeah. We, we... Um, okay. Uh, we were in the middle of combat. Anno the, sp Anno, the spirit died here, was strong, courageous. Listen to his voice. He was able to focus our light. No power. You now learn charge flame. To use this ability, hold the left mouse button to charge and release, to detonate, and damage everything in proximity. All right, so I've officially, I think, kind of caught up to where I was originally. Uh, if I remember, we can just do something pretty cool with this power. Boom! It's kind of like a bomb. Um, very useful for combat situations. I imagine it'll have more uses as we get deeper into the game here. Um... Hoppity, hoppity. Okay. Let's go down, I think. We, what happens if we go down? Uh, I don't think we want to go down, actually. Never mind. Yeah, I think, yeah, we have to break through this door up here. Uh, shift and grab. Alright, that lowers that. We gotta remember that thing up there to grab that. Um, I don't remember how we get to this. I don't think I got to it either, to be honest with you. So it's not like it matters too terribly much. There we are. You're stupid. Nice level. How do we get to that? Damn, that's a far drop. Okay. Damn it! I'm jerked, I'm jerked off. Jerked off. I love platforming games. Just most focus. There we go. All right. There we go. There we go. Um, I don't know how we get to that. We'll get to that eventually. Maybe I can make like a... Gosh dang it. I'm 100% sure we can get to that. All we got to do is like... Well, for one thing, pull our head out of our asses. And make our jumps, which I know we can do. I feel like if I, I take like a running leap and I jump, 
No, we got we can't get that. Okay, that was perfect, and we can't make that jump. Oh well. Okay. Oh, look who's back. Hey, I'll take experience. Yeah, sure. Right, we can go up and around, but oh no, we can't. We can't go up and around. We have to go down. Look at this big booger down here. That was almost a level right there. Uh, we're going to soul link really quick. Might as well. We'll use our ability. And I think we're going to go ahead and grab the map marker. Yeah, we're going to grab the map markers. Because I just, it's driving me nuts. I can't see where things are on the map. Uh, we already got that. That was what we get our spirit bomb from. We'll have to come back for all this stuff later on. Alright, very good. Now we definitely caught up to where I was because I have no idea what's what I'm looking at here. But that's really bad because we're just about done uh, for this episode, guys. As always, tweet me Martyr HJ, guys. I hope you enjoyed today's episode of Oh Dear God. <laughs> this episode of Oh Dear God. No, uh, this episode of Ori and the Blind Forest, guys. Let me know what you think. Comment down below. Tell me what you think about the new series. I hope you guys are enjoying it. I think it's going to be a really cool game. I, I'm, I think it's going to be really sweet. Uh, someone suggested that we play, um, what was it? Uh, Deus Ex, uh, which we might do. Um, I still want to check that game out. I heard it's really cool. It's a lot like um, System Shock. So that might be definitely a possibility after Ori and the Blind Forest, depending on how certain things go with like other games and all that, guys. Uh, but yeah, we will see you guys next time.